PC. The RTX 4060 is NVIDIA's attempt at competing at a more budget level than their higher-end cards that come with a premium price point. Based on the Ada Lovelace architecture, the Gigabyte RTX 4060 Gaming OC is a solid contender, backed up by the tried-and-tested Windforce Cooler with the performance of the RTX 4060. Looking at the card, you're going to find a triple fan setup rather than the typical dual fan design, giving the card a more powerful look at the very least. Gigabyte is using the same Windforce design they've been using for a few years now, and there's certainly no indication of any future changes either. As the saying goes, if it ain't broke, don't fix it. On the back plate, you'll find a stripe design with Gigabyte branding, along with a see-through hull that provides a look into the heatsink. The card is two slots wide, but it is quite long, measuring 281mm in length. While this shouldn't be an issue in most cases, if you're going for a compact build, it's certainly a factor to keep in mind. Coming to performance, I've started to like the OC series from Gigabyte, as it provides more value for money with a decent increase in performance from the stock version. There's an almost 4% increase in the boost clock, carrying it to 2550 MHz from the stock variant at 2460 MHz. In terms of gaming performance, you can easily throw the latest gen AAA games at the card and achieve 60 plus frames at 1080p. Not to mention the card outperforms rivals like the 7600 OC variants in most of the games by 1-2%. The performance from the stock variant is not that better in any stretch, but that's obvious these days, and it all boils down to the cooler. Speaking of the cooler, Gigabyte continues to use its Windforce cooler, which keeps the thermals quite low. Under heavy workloads for longer intervals, the hotspot reaches a maximum of 73 degrees Celsius, while the temperatures remain at a fairly cool range of 60 degrees Celsius. All of this is thanks to the triple fans, the outer fans of which rotate clockwise and the middle fan rotates counterclockwise, resulting in a vortex-like airflow that dissipates more heat from the heatsink. Gigabyte also uses copper heat pipes in direct contact with the GPU to facilitate heat transfer to the heatsink. On top of a triple fan design, the marketed TDP value of the card remains low at 115 watts, while the official PSU recommendation is 300 watts. You'll need a single 8-pin power connector to power up the card, increasing support for older power supplies. In addition, the card also features dual BIOS, which can be helpful when performing any overclocks, thanks to the efficient cooling system in place. In terms of connectivity, you're looking at two HDMI 2.1 ports and two DisplayPort 1.4a ports. Some 4060s in the market feature a single HDMI 2.1 port and three DisplayPorts, so connectivity is something to keep in mind when you're buying a card. Nonetheless, it's not lacking any really important options here, and you should be just fine. Finally, the Gigabyte RTX 4060 Gaming OC turns out to be an excellent choice, especially for 1080p gaming, with its solid cooling system and lots of overclocking overhead, while providing an incredible performance in its stock version. Plus, the professional and minimal aesthetic gives it a premium feel, as the cherry on top. In short, what I like is the excellent cooling solution, the overall better design and aesthetic over a competitor's, and the lowest power consumption among competitors. On the downside, it's slightly more expensive than it should be.